What will happen to the Speed Force in the second The Flash movie? Since its creation in 1940 by Gardner Fox and Harry Lampert, The Flash has fascinated comic book readers with his superhuman ability to move at extraordinary speeds. But what allows this iconic speedster to run faster than the speed of light, travel through time, and pass through solid objects? It's all thanks to a cosmic, extra-dimensional entity known as the Speed Force. In this video, we're going to talk about the nature of the Speed Force in detail, how it affected the Flash movie, and how it will affect the future of this multiverse. So if you want to know more about your favorite movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The Speed Force is shown several times in the Flash movie, not only as the typical energy that comes out around this speedster, but we saw how a vortex of temporal events was shown as if it were its own dimension. The Speed Force is an ethereal, infinite cosmic energy, existing in a parallel dimension to our own. It is said to be both an energy source and a realm in its own right. Speedsters, such as Flash, are able to access this energy and use it to perform superhuman feats. In the DC canon, it has been stated that Barry Allen, the second Flash, is the generator of the Speed Force and with every step he takes, he adds more energy to this dimension. This places the Flash at the very center of this transcendental force, not just as a user, but as its primary source. That presents an intriguing paradox. Barry Allen is actually the creator of the Speed Force, the same entity that grants speed powers to all speedsters, including himself. The Speed Force was first introduced in DC Comics during Mark Waid's tenure on The Flash during the 1990s. Prior to this, Flash's abilities were attributed to a chemical accident and a lightning strike. Waid introduced the Speed Force to provide a deeper and more mysterious explanation for Flash's abilities, and it quickly became a central element in Flash and other speedster stories. In the Flash movie, we witness an unexpected event. Barry Allen loses his powers after an attempt to get his younger version to acquire speedster abilities. Then, we saw the failure of both Batman and Supergirl in their attempts to restore Barry's abilities. Through a science experiment, Batman attempted to restore Barry's powers, and then Supergirl attempts to do so by carrying Barry into a storm. However, the restoration of Barry's powers did not occur until young Barry touched his future version, transferring a fraction of the speed force, which finally allowed Barry to regain his speed abilities. The CW-produced television series The Flash has done an excellent job in introducing the speed force to a wider audience. Throughout the seasons, we have been shown the Speed Force as a quasi-divine entity, sometimes manifesting in human forms, to communicate with Barry and other speedsters. In the series, the Speed Force has been both an ally and adversary for the Flash, providing an extra level of drama and tension. The concept of the Speed Force is shown in the 2017 Justice League movie, in its extended version, Zack Snyder's 2021 Justice League, where we see Flash, played by Ezra Miller, using the Speed Force in scenes where he saves people at astonishing speeds. While the film doesn't delve into the exact nature of the Speed Force, it successfully presents the visual spectacle of using this energy. The 2009 comic book Flash, Rebirth, by Jeff Johns, gives us a deeper look at the Speed Force. In this story, it is revealed that Barry Allen not only uses the Speed Force but is also its source. This is a significant plot twist, 
as it positions the Flash as the ultimate speedster and makes the Speed Force an even more integral element of his mythology. In simple terms, the Speed Force is an extra-dimensional power source that gives speedsters, such as the Flash, their super-fast abilities. Surprisingly, Barry Allen, the Flash, is both the user and creator of this force. Which means Barry is also responsible for its misuse. We know that Reverse Flash will negatively use the Speed Force to try to destroy Barry. Possibly, Reverse Flash is to blame for the death of Nora Allen. Which means that Barry is not only the creator of the speedster heroes but also the creator of the villains. But then, what will happen to the Speed Force and the future of the Flash? The Flash 2 as a sequel, would have the opportunity to delve deeper into the mythology of the Speed Force and could focus on a crisis within this cosmic entity. In the comic book world, the idea of a destabilized Speed Force has been explored several times. One of the most prominent examples is Jeff John's Flash, Rebirth, where Barry Allen emerges from the Speed Force after being trapped inside for years. Upon his return, his presence causes a disturbance in the Speed Force that affects all the speedsters. Based on this comic, The Flash 2 could begin with Barry experiencing problems with his powers. As his control over the Speed Force becomes erratic, other anomalies begin to happen around the world. On his quest, he might discover that a malevolent entity, or an unknown force, is causing the Speed Force to destabilize. This antagonist could be someone like the Reverse Flash, whose history is tied to the Flash and the Speed Force in the comics. On the other hand, Ben Affleck's Batman, if he is trapped in another dimension and Flash must help him, part of this crisis in the multiverse would be because of the Speed Force. Maybe Barry needs to learn all about this energy, in order to reverse what happened in the first movie. The story of the Speed Force and Flash is a pretty broad and interesting one, and hopefully, the second movie will expand more on it. But tell me your thoughts on the Speed Force and the Flash. Do you think we'll see more of it in the second movie? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on the Oasis Geek.